What's up, everyone? What's on your bucket list? And I'm talking the bucket list in your head and the one in your heart, your heart desires, those things that you really want from life, those relationships, that sense of God's presence, those heart things. You want to feel a sense of peace. And those head things also, the, the plans that we craft over time, that we sculpt, that we put together. I really want my life to go this way in the years to come. This is how I want to, to get into life. This is how I want my life to look. This is how I want my life to, to end. Whatever quarter of life you're in, whether you're in the spring, summer, fall, or winter of your life, we, we have hopes and dreams for those seasons. And they come from both the head and the heart. And both here are addressed in Psalm 20, verse 4. May he grant your heart's desire, and may he fill up all of your counsel, the, the things that you think through, the things that you've talked through with others, the things that you have those conversations in your head with yourself on. May all of those things be fulfilled. And the New Testament in John 10.10 10 says that uh, Jesus Christ comes that we might have life to the full, that we might feel alive, that we might feel that life is worth it. And that's my prayer for you today, that you know that this is not out of reach, that day in, day out, to continue to craft plans and to continue to feel desire in our hearts is a godly thing. God gave us those, those that hunger for life. The Hebrew word for soul is nephesh which is that place in the back of your mouth where there's hunger or thirst. You start to feel that hunger back there, and it drives us through life. It, like, pulls us into life. It's, a, it's more of a hunger for life than just food and drink and, and all that kind of stuff. Do you, do you get up eager to do things? It feels wonderful to be eager to get into the day and to get moving on stuff. And that's what I pray for you, that you would have life, have it to the full, that the desires of your heart and also the, the, the counsel of your mind, those, those conversations we have in our minds with, with others, with ourselves, that they would be fulfilled. So let's continue to pray for that. Don't settle for anything less. That's the good news for today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.